Today we're going to discuss a uh, difference of opinion. Numbers we have Vandy 52, Jackson State 42, Ramblin 36. Those are the numbers of NFL players drafted from each school since 1978. So wow, yes, Vandy does have more. If you take out the 9th through 10th draft picks, Jackson and Grambling both have more. But this is not about that. This is about what Cam Newton said about getting seen going to a different school. First, let's listen to Cam. Explain it to you. Kirby Smart needs you? You think Nick Saban needs you? You stupid. You're going to Tennessee? Half y'all going to schools that don't even offer you. If you're good, it don't matter where you go, they're going to find you. I promise you that. A lot of y'all, y'all want to go to the Alabamas, the North Carolinas, the North Carolina States. Y'all going to be there for four years and not have a meaningful game. Oh, but I got a catch, though. It was senior day. It was a slant. Relax. Bro, you better go somewhere where you got to put yourself first. Because when you play for that G, when you play for that A, when you play for that T, when you play for that AU, bro, they're putting themselves first. They're bulletproof. Nothing and no one will ever, I got you, will ever mess up their situation, whether a quarterback, receiver, DB, nothing, coach. Man, that, those schools are bulletproof. So to think that they want me, they need me, man, bro, they don't need you. I want you to understand something. He's talking to the kids who will be backups for three or four years, the four stars when that's in the field. But that's not what the problem is. Some people don't like their depth getting other ideas. This is Joe Pratt, 24-7 Sports. Play, the NFL is going to find you no matter where you are. Because it's technically true, but yet it's also intellectually bankrupt. Them finding you regardless of where you are is not the goal. Maximizing yourself is the goal. This reminds me a lot of people who use the term six figures. How much does she make? Well, she makes six figures. That tells me nothing. It tells me nothing whatsoever. Do you know what the difference is in bringing home 125 a year versus 640 a year? Well, it's just six figures. No, no, it's not. It's like saying you drive a car. That tells me nothing about how you get around. Hey, I made it to the NFL. Well, were you the 23rd overall pick in the draft or were you a, a late six round draft pick who did not make generational money on his first deal and then tore his knee and never made it to his second deal? I'm telling you now, it very much matters where you go, because I could clone myself, and one of me goes to Georgia, and one of me says, ah, you know what, they'll find me wherever, I'm going to McNeese State. You fast forward four years, which version of me is more likely to be drafted higher? Not even talking about my work ethic, let's just say both versions of me completely grind it out, keep my nose clean, I do everything in my power, I'm a model citizen. Which version of me four years later is more likely to be drafted higher? That's what I would care about. I care about maximizing my potential. And there's some places that are obviously far more resourced and equipped to develop you, neck up and neck down, to maximize that potential. The NFL will find you wherever you are. Let me tell you what will happen. If you're 6'6", 250, like Cam Newton, and if you have alien physical traits, they really will find you, especially if you're a quarterback, they will find you wherever you play. You can play club football at Columbus State University, and if you're Cam Newton, they'll find you. None of you are. None of you. None, nobody in that room, and chances are no one watching this right now is Cam Newton. So if you're not Cam Newton, if you're not the 0.000001% in the country, you better be very cognizant of where you go. I want you to understand something. According to footballnextlevel.com, the average pick of nine Power 5 schools into the NFL draft over the last, say, four or five years is around 21, 22%. So out of 259 players drafted, around 60 to 58 every year from nine Power 5 schools. Those are kids who bet on themselves, who would have been sitting on the bench, not getting any playing time, unless everybody in front of them went down. 
Joe Burrow was the same way. He had to transfer to LSU. Joe Burrow would not have played under his belief system. Yes, he went to a Power Five, but if he would have stayed out of Ohio State, he would have seen the field. The thing he does not want, well, maybe he does. I'm not saying, I don't understand his mindset, but people don't understand is that these kids now can better themselves. Same thing with the NBA. A Giannis under the Kupo doesn't have to play in New York or LA to get seen. In the NFL, they will find you. Yes, if you're 6'6, 250, like Cam Newton, they will definitely find you. But they're also finding kids like Trey Lance, Carson Wentz, and other kids don't fit your mold. 